Let's see if you all remember. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Very good. Who can tell me why Jesus came into the world? That's what we're talking about today, but let's back up. Who can tell me something that makes them sad? What makes you sad in the world? What makes you scared? What do you see in the world that you don't like? That makes you frightened? That makes you sad? Very good. Does anyone want to say anything? Has anyone ever had a pet that died? That's okay. That's good. Think about the thing that you hate the most in the world, the thing that is the hardest to deal with. This is a sign. That's okay. This is a sign that the world is not perfect. That the world is at war with itself. If you ever fight with your brother or your sister, if you ever make your parents disappointed, if you ever see your yaya crying, the things that are sad, that are troubled in this world. You all have something in mind? Good. I'm sorry. These are the things that Jesus comes to heal. The Lord comes into this world to heal the wounds, to make what is wrong right, to make what is sad joyful. He comes to make everything right. Now, I say this as a prelude because this past week we had a service. We celebrated a feast. Who can tell me what the yorti was on Thursday? What was it? That's okay. What else was it? Who can tell me? Nobody knows what the feast was we celebrated on Thursday? Holy water. We get holy water from the feast, but what is the feast? What is the feast? No one knows? It's the feast of that icon. It's the feast of Theophany, on which we celebrate the baptism of Christ in the Jordan River. And because Christ was baptized, all of us are now baptized in imitation of his baptism, in participation in his life. But there's a service that we do after Theophany. We bless the waters. How many of you have seen this service done? Can I see hands? So maybe 10 of you. Sometimes it happens on Sunday and then everybody gets to see it. Otherwise, it happens in the middle of the week and all of you are in school. But we have the Ayesmo, the sanctified holy water, for all of you to take home. Now, first of all, let's talk about how you use it, because that's important. You can drink the holy water in the morning. The first thing you get up, to ask the Lord to bless you, to have a blessing come upon your day, you'll unscrew the lid, you'll make the sign of the cross, you all know how to do that, we talked about that, and you'll take a small sip of the holy water. The first thing you do in the morning before you eat or drink anything else, because it's holy. We fast before we receive holy things. Be so so that we show God and remind ourselves that we need to approach them with careful thought and with intent. This is not magic. That is not the point of holy water. That is not the point of communion. We receive holy water as a sign of a relationship that we have with the Lord. Now, I talked about what Jesus comes to do. What does he come to do? Who can remember? How about you, Gabriel? Not just to make us feel better, but to make us better. A psychologist makes you feel better if he's good. A doctor makes you better, right? If any of you are psychologists, you know me. Okay. Now, the holy water that we bless is a part of that new creation. It is a way for us to experience the world healed, the world in communion with God now. That is what we mean when we say it is holy. We say that it is at peace with God. All creation and we ourselves are at war with God. 
and we find the fruit of that in the fights we have with our brothers and sisters, in our, with our parents, with the problems that we have in school, with all the problems that we see in the world. The holy water is a part of creation that is made right. And when we receive it, we ask God to make us right as well. Jesus blessed the water first. And then from the water, he continues to work to save and to sanctify all creation. He does the same thing with us. We are the orthodox people. He blesses and saves us first. But it does not end there. We are called to go into the world in the same way as the water goes out and to be a blessing to everyone that we meet. To show them the love and the presence of Jesus. Do you understand? Some of that is complicated. Do me a favor. Talk to your parents about it in the course of the week. But you get something out of it too. We have Ayyazmo. We have it in the back. If you didn't get some Ayyazmo today, we have more. Come during the week, come next week, and get some. Every one of you should have a bottle of this in your room next to your icon, and you should take a sip of it in the morning. You make your cross, and you ask God to bless your day and to make you a blessing in the world in the same way as this water is a blessing and a means of sanctification for you. All right? Very good. Stand up, and we'll receive Holy Communion together.